Hi everyone, so um, yeah, there's been this video going about um, like a, a VR uh, answer three tough questions. Um, I've not actually been tagged, but I've watched that many of them. I've watched like Retro Red Steve, uh, I've watched Mark's, James's, um, Galloway's. Um, yeah, I've watched, <coughs> uh, I, I watched John's as well. So I watched a few of them and I thought, you know what, yeah, I'm going to, I'm the nerd and I thought, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do one. Uh, I'm going to put one together quite quick. Uh, so um, basically I've been, it, it's been racking my brains because my, my memory, much like uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys and all, um, <laughs> you just can't remember that far bloody back. It's a nightmare. But as best I can remember, um, because I grew up in quite a rural town, so if I wanted a game as a kid, I had to ask for it. I couldn't just go out and get it. So I think I was, by the time I bought, um, the first question, sorry, is name the game that you, you know, first bought with your, with, with your own money. So by the time, <clears throat> by the time our little town got a little independent game shop, um, I was like, I must have been about 18 or 19 or something. And I was, I was at university and I remember in the summer, I got a little summer job um, working for, um, they were like an, a, an independent subcontractor on a building site. So they got this bit of work down at Canning Town um, train station when it was all being built and that like 25 years ago or whatever. And um, this is when I still live down, set up, obviously I live up north now. So it was before I moved. And as a teenager, you just want drinking money, really, didn't you? Um, at sort of 18, 18, 19 years old. So, yeah, I got this um, like little job just outside of East Ham. Just basically prepping metalwork. It was bloody crap um, for them to then come and spray paint it, you know. Um, and I remember at the time I was quite happy because I was getting paid what I thought was like, getting paid like probably 550 an hour or something like that. And, you know, at that age, you think you're rich, didn't you? So, um, yeah, spanked most of my money on bloody beer. Um, but I remember saving a little bit before I went back to uni for year two because a load of other lads had uh, their own PlayStation. So before I went back, I went in the, um, I went in the game shop uh, that had just sort of opened in my town. It was only there five minutes. I thought it closed down again by the time I'd, I'd come back, unfortunately. But I remember buying, um, with my own money, um, a PS1 with Resident Evil 2 because a load of guys had been playing Resident Evil 1 and I had a little go on their theirs and whatnot so that was like the first game that I bought and I remember I, I think um, a few days later just before I, I went back to uni proper um, I bought or, or no tell a lie this must have been the summer after so it must have been there a good year the shop then so the first game would have been Resident Evil 2 with my own money with a PlayStation. But then I do remember, must have been the summer afterwards then, um, that I then went back and bought this big um, limited edition collector's set for Metal Gear Solid, which was a, this big silver box that came with like a T-shirt. It came with a CD, I think, with the music and a few other bits and the game, obviously, all that sort of stuff. But that would have been the second one I bought with my own money, most probably. So, so yeah, so <clears throat> that's kind of um, answered the first question. Um, Resident Evil 2, with my own money, um, I had to work my backside off for it too. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> um, question 2 is, is like the, the Desert, Island, Desert Island game and Celebrity. Um, so, if I was on a Desert Island, um, I think the game that I would probably take, and I've given it a bit of thought... It's actually a game I've not played before, but I know it would be definitely right up my street. And it's Farming Simulator. And the reason for that is I do like a simulation type game. Um, it, it certainly passes the time. But I was thinking Farming Sim, you'll be able to get tips off it. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're, um, you know, when you're trying to cultivate or whatever on your, um, on your island, then... Um, then yeah, I, I play Farming Simulator. Plus, it's got no end, so you just be able to play it constantly. So yeah, um, Farming Simulator would probably be my um, my game. I think the latest one is uh, Farming Sim 2022, which 
never played, but um, I know a lot of people that have, and it looks looks a lot of fun. In terms of celebrity, uh, honestly, I I don't really keep up to date with any celebrity showbiz. I couldn't tell you who's who or anything like that. Um, but I did give it a bit of thought, and do you know what? I take Mr. Ed. So Mr. Ed, he's a horse. So you can get from one end of the island to the other if you need to. He can carry stuff. He can plough your fields and he can talk. So he'd keep you sane. Do you know what I mean? Mr. Ed. So the final question is um, a crap game that I keep playing. I keep going back to. So I've given this quite a bit of thought because there are one or two howlers on the master system unfortunately um they're not all made the same i love them all but you know they're not all the same um one that i keep going back to that not a lot of people i don't think a lot of people have played and those that have would probably agree that it's not fantastic i'll just show it off here it's cheese catastrophe starring speedy gonzalez and honestly if i'm honest it's not a fantastic game but i do keep coming back to it because i enjoy it the music's quite catchy and it, it, it looks quite nice. So, um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the game. So they're my, um, they're my three answers. Um, I did give it quite a bit of thought um, and I've enjoyed watching everybody else's videos. Um, I will tag one person, whether he does one or not, I doubt it, um, you know, but that's gonna be my brother. He's not done a YouTube video for about 10 years, but Mr. Ting, if you see this, if you watch it, then um, I'm calling you out. Put a VR together on those three questions. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much.